This is a Walmart reflector. In this episode of The Thoughtful Photographer, I'm going to show you an inexpensive and effective do-it-yourself reflector that you can find at any Walmart. Hi, I'm Joe Edelman, and you're watching The Thoughtful Photographer, the web series that teaches you how to think like a professional photographer and pulls back the curtain on the thought process and the psychology of making great photographs. You heard me right. I said Walmart reflector. I bet you didn't know that Walmart sold professional lighting accessories. Now, if you've read my articles or attended any of my workshops, you've heard me talk about the Walmart reflector. It's simply a 30 inch by 20 inch piece of white foam board that you can buy at a Walmart for $1.47. Now, this is my favorite reflector to use when shooting models or products in the studio, and sometimes even on location. I own the collapsible reflectors in a bunch of different sizes and colors, and I even have one of those ridiculously expensive California Sun Bounces, which is an awesome reflector for location shooting because it's very lightweight, has a light gold surface, and it folds up in a tiny little bag. But hey, not everyone can afford the cool expensive gadgets. Or if you're like me, I'm the guy that puts my reflector down and then manages to step on it and leave a footprint. What I like about the foam board reflector is that they are cheap. They're very light. They're also easy to cut or shape if needed. And did I mention, they're cheap. The boards that I get at Walmart are made by Elmer's, the glue people. They're 3 16ths of an inch thick and you can find them in the arts and crafts aisle along with poster board. I've even seen 30 inch by 20 inch foam board at dollar stores lately. It's usually a thinner 1 16th of an inch and it's also cheaper made, but you can't beat the price. You can also find suppliers that will let you buy foam board in sizes up to 48 inches by 96 inches so that you can make wall size reflectors or flats to use in your studio. They're very lightweight and they take up very little storage space. Since this is the thoughtful photographer, we should take a look at how do you use the reflector and when and why would you use the reflector. Now, I'm going to do this in two parts. In this video, I'm simply going to show you how I generally mount the reflector. And in an upcoming video, I'm going to give you a lot of real-time lighting examples of how to use it and when to use it. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. I have several ways that I mount mine on a stand, and I've even developed a voice-activated version that is patent pending. I'll share that with you at the end of the video, so be sure to watch it until the end. In my studio, I generally use a Photoflex telescopic light disc holder. This holder lets me use the reflector vertically alongside a subject or horizontally in front of and under a subject. If you check the major camera retailers as well as Amazon and eBay, you can find tons of options that will fit your budget. If you're working on a really low budget, you can get a little creative. If you're using the reflector vertically next to your subject, use large spring clips to attach it to a stand. If you need a horizontal setup below your subject's face, simply have the subject hold the reflector. Follow the link in the info section below to the matching article on my blog that also contains links to all of the products and suppliers that I mentioned in this video. That's all for this episode of The Thoughtful Photographer. I'm Joe Edelman, and until next time, keep thinking, keep learning, and keep shooting. Oh, wait! I promised I would give you a sneak peek at my patent-pending voice-activated reflector. Okay, so you start out with the 20-inch by 30-inch white foam board. Then you need an assistant. It could be a friend or spouses work great for this. You carefully place the reflector in their hands. Now, exact hand placement is very important, and it's a technique that does require some practice. Then, when you back up to take the shot, you activate the reflector with very simple commands. Closer, higher, tilt a little, etc. If you like what I'm doing, please give the video a thumbs up. And take a second to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss a single episode. 